You know what, man? LA been cold. I finally put my cold coat on. Now it's hot today. I was about to say, man, you awful colorful today, never, brother. Yeah, I ain't never hot, though. You know, I'm African. You know what happened? <laughs> my, you know, I told my village, I said, I want something crazy to wear. 11 peacocks sacrificed their life for me to be here today. And they did the justice. Two of them are still alive. I'm wearing it right now. The water is almost over. Yeah, he's inside. But I'm feeling good, man. I just, it just is a great day. It's a beautiful day. It's 50 years of hip hop, man. Yeah, man. What does five decades of hip hop mean for you in the, in the comedic space? Oh, man. You know, I was around for, in America for 30 of them. Mm -hmm. You know, I came here in the um, you know, mid 80s, and that's when I started falling in love with music, falling in love with hip hop. And we talking about like Run DMC. I remember going to, to, going to a store called Dr. J's in Newark, New Jersey, where I first lived. And then there's a big poster of Run DMC on the wall, wearing Adidas. You know, let's just tell you how powerful hip hop is. We are like trendsetters. We made every brand popular. Yeah. Look what Jay Z did to, you know, the, the S. Doc Carters. You know, Reebok with Allen Iverson with, with 50 Cent. Yeah. Jordan with, the, with Nike. Jordan with Nike, man. We are just trendsetters. Feels good to be black, just celebrating 50 years of hip hop. Now, Hip hop is worldwide now. Now they are Chinese rappers, and they are Russian rappers. Look what we've started, man. We are powerful. We are kings, and we should be proud of ourselves. Yeah, man, definitely. And you've definitely been a part of that. What's next for Michael Blackson? So much. I have, a, I have something that works, but you know they haven't given me permission to talk about it yet. But it's something that you guys are gonna love to see me on. You get to watch me almost every day, okay. very soon. Uh, I'm excited about it, um, you know, um, and I'm touring, and I built a school in my village, so I go home every other month to Ghana, you know, I built a free private school for the kids, free, free uniform, free food, free tuition, all they have to do is pay attention, that's the only pay they have to do is pay attention, so I go home and make sure the, the kids in the village are, are, are well educated and they're doing well. Man, that's fantastic, congratulations on that too. And uh, definitely looking forward to that big announcement you got yes. coming, man, because uh, we definitely got to keep seeing you on the screen. Definitely, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Good seeing you, man. Yeah. Be good, man. All right.